In this video, you can actually take your game to the test. Before you're watching the video, I want you to pause it and think about how you would solve this pattern. Or in the best case, just go to the practice table and give it a try yourself. This is a really, really nice drill that I used to play many, many years ago. And it's so nice because it has so many different difficulty levels. And I always have to play the lowest numbered ball, which means 9, 1, 12. 10 to 13 and so on. Here already on the very first shot I'm not trying to actually get an angle where I have to shoot the one ball into the side. No, I actually want to have um, the one ball into the corner pocket because that way I'm not that dependent on speed and on the exact angle. So I'm trying to find a natural angle on a nine ball where all I have to do is just play a follow shot or a center ball, touch of supporting left spin if you want to. It's just a high ball here then come nicely into the line of the one ball. You can see the margin for the cue ball is just bigger compared to having that pinpoint position into the side. So here, very important, I wanna have an angle on the 12 ball because I have to get up table for the 10 ball again. So speed control is really important here. Just a follow shot once again. and I need to get off the rail, this is important. Mm. Already not ideal, cue ball needs to be a bit off the rail, this is so much easier. Now the problem is I have to elevate and I have to force the cue ball a bit and really can't send it exactly to a point. It's already difficult if you have a natural angle, but uh, with elevation and a stun shot, it's really, really difficult. But let's give it a try. Try to get a shot on a 10 ball with an angle. This is the most important thing. And of course, make the shot, which is not that easy here. I'm not using any spin here. So you can see, it's just lucky where exactly we're ending because you just can't control it. And now we have a shot on a 10 ball, but I would have loved to be a bit closer to the 10 ball. Now I just have to roll it in and actually go for the shot into the side pocket. But here, if I'm actually crossing that line and the cue ball travels too far, the only chance I have is then to actually play the two ball into this corner pocket. And I'm actually trying to go for the two ball into this corner pocket because then I don't have to slow roll, I don't have to hold the cue ball. And here, once again, even though I have to draw the cue ball probably back then, I have just more margin once again for the cue ball compared to trying to bring it into the side pocket. This is always a very, very important rule whenever you're playing pool. Try to find a position zone where the cue ball doesn't need to be pinpoint regarding speed and the exact angle you need on your shot. This is very, very important. But we still have a difficult shot here on a 10 ball. That was horrible. Well, let's give it another try. So this was way too thin. And well, I underhit it. And this is now exactly the thing that isn't supposed to happen. Now, if you're trying to go into the side, the cue ball has a really hard time getting on at 13. This is why I now have to play it. Um, into this pocket, try to bring the cue ball to here, to here, and then back to here. So a really, really difficult shot. We made it, and did we stay off the rail? Yes, this is now a whole lot better if you're staying off the rail. I wish I had a bit more angle once again, because from here, I can just roll it in and the cue ball goes naturally towards here. This is why I have to work a bit with the cue ball now. I think if I'm just using touch of right spin, it should be possible or it definitely is possible to bring the cue ball towards here. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about how to play pool, then just subscribe to the channel and activate all bell notifications to never miss a single lesson. Nice path. Cue ball needs to travel just a tiny bit. Once again, we are on the rail, but that's okay. Now all I'm going to do is roll it in, get a shot for the free ball into the corner pocket. Not going for the side once again, even though now it's okay to actually 
um, be on the wrong side into the side because there are no interfering balls. I could actually try to bring the cue ball a couple of wells around, but it's not necessary. I'm just trying to make the ball get a shot into the corner pocket. Yeah, decelerated a tiny bit, could have fit it a bit thinner. That way the cue ball would be here, where it just can play a follow shot. Now I actually have to stun over, but this is still doable. Just a center ball. And I have a nice shot on the 14. So yes, this wasn't flawless, but as you can see why it's so important to play clever, to once again, as I mentioned, bring the cue ball into clever zones where you aren't that dependent on the exact angle and on the exact speed. And of course, apart from this, this drill still is about speed control. and about finding the right angles, the natural angles. And it's a really nice drill, as I mentioned, but this is actually a very, very difficult variation of this drill. So check out the rules in the video description, then find your right skill level. This is very important that you don't make it too difficult for yourself. Now, just a bit of more information if you want to improve your game even more, or if you want to win a brand new cue by J Flowers, my new cue sponsor for this channel and for me as a player. So first of all, if you want to participate in the giveaway that we're going to do once I'm reaching 100, uh, 500,000 subscribers, half a million subscribers, then just subscribe to the newsletter and you will be part of the raffle. And if you want to improve your game, then check out my shop because I have a great training course, a video course for improving your mental game, working on your mental game with 12 key lessons. I have the Golden 21, a really nice training package. I have 30 secret videos and drills that were never published on my YouTube channel before, where you can actually watch uh, videos about different drills, just like this one where I'm uh, playing the drill. And we also have the playing ability test where you can check your game in six different key areas so just head to my shop on spring and get one of those packages i guarantee you're gonna like it it will help you improve your game and that's basically it for today so thanks for watching guys and as always see you at the next lesson take care